What's going on? What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. It's about eight minutes. Eight minutes after eleven. Uh, my guest will not be on with me today. Uh, time is a little bit limited, so I'm squeezing in this podcast. So today's podcast um, is pretty much, you know, life is too short. So a lot of times we um, we waste time with things that pretty much don't matter when it comes to life. Um, you know, life's too short to be, you know, I'm seriousness. I'm not talking about, um, you know, um, in a jokingly type manner. I'm talking about in coming from a serious type perspective. You know, life is too short to be petty. You know, life is too short to hold grudges. Life is too short just for nonsense. Life is too short to be, you know, not even, you know, be appreciated, be taken for granted, use all these things. Life is just too short for a lot of these things that actually go on um, in this world today. And you have to be mindful of what's worthy of your time and what's not worthy of your time when it comes to how short life is. Um, One thing um, I've noticed um, how short life is where you can see a person one day and two to three days later, they're gone, you know? Um, So when you have a series of those things happening, it kind of changes your perspective when it comes to life. And um, and it's something like my therapist says, you know, Sean, you know, you can't expect, he told me something um, on last week. He said, Sean, you can't expect for everybody or for anybody for that matter to understand or to uh, sympathize, empathize what you're going through. Um, And of course, you're going to have a lot of cases where you have to empathize, sympathize what other people go through, but they don't take the time to empathize and sympathize with what you go through. And that's one thing, you you know, with the life is so short, it has taught me a a valuable lesson that, um, you know, uh, what you may give out, you may not get back, you know, and I learned and my mother always told me that life was always based off reciprocation. a lot of people don't reciprocate um, what they uh, they they receive, but they don't they don't give back um, what they actually receive. And and life is too short for that nonsense. You know, um, I realize you know, watch seeing my mom one day and then flying back to Houston, Texas, and then two days later. I mean, I saw that I I literally saw this woman. I literally bought this woman food. She literally got out of the hospital. I saw this woman, brought this woman food, saw this woman, helped pack up some things. And then, I mean, she, I mean, straight up in my face, fine. Two days later, she's in hospice. A day later, she's gone. Life is very, very short. And the biggest misconception we have as people is that we got all the time in the world. We feel as if we got all the time in the world to fix a thing. We feel as if we got all the time in the world to resolve a thing, to rectify a situation, which we which we don't. But we waste so much time on things that's not adding any value to our life. We waste so much time in being mad, being bitter, being resentful, being unforgiving. We waste so much time instead of rectifying something that could be beautiful. We rather just let it go and just be like the hell with it or whatever. Forget all the time I invested in. People are just generally... I, I, you know, my mom told me years ago, people are generally stupid. They are. People are, People generally are dumb. They are generally dumb and they're generally stupid. The things that you see, they, they, they say and, and the things that they do. And you're like, how old are you now? You're 40, 50, 60 something years old. And, and, and that's what you're doing. You, you have to think about the, the mental maturity in people. It lacks. It is lacking big time. Um, when you lose a lot of people through death, you really see how the perspective, I mean, a lot of people, when you lose, when you see so much death throughout your life, you kind of realize how short life can actually be. You can see a person one day and the next day they out of there, but you have wasted so much time on things that's not even add no value to your life. You wasted so much time instead of getting your life better, getting your body better, getting your health better, getting your finances better. Even if you have to work two or three jobs, you have focused so much time. That that's the thing. When people come, when people contact me with immature nonsense, I ain't got time for that. 
That means you got way too much time in your hand. You really need to get your life and you need to get your shit together because you are worrying about the wrong things. What is that going to do? Is that going to change something miraculous? That 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 petty thing that you're worrying about, that petty thing that you're arguing about, that petty thing that you're mad about. Here's the thing: being mad is not going to change no dynamics and no situation. It's just not. I think that's Brandon coming in. Yeah. Hold tight. What's up, B? Yo, what's going on? Hey man, I'm rolling, bro. So you just go out to yeah. jump on in, man. Cause I, I got you know, you. got to about eleven thirty. So yeah. We, so so be what I was just talking to the people about real quick, man, about how short life is and how, you know, um, for me, you know, bringing things in perspective. My perspective changed with all the people that I lost in life, and and it showed me how really, you know, that that word that. People have been over the years. Life is it, it is so much in that statement that that life is too short. How yeah. people waste so much time, man, on petty nonsense. But being grown up about situations, problems, or issues, they have a childlike to it. They can't, you know. Um, I, to me, my mom is a real. Gonna have a real conversation with a real man. She's gonna sit and talk. They're not gonna avoid. They're not. They wait. Not gonna go into and and try to defend his character or their name or thing. And a real conversation with a real real woman. And and men are gonna have conversation with men and women are gonna have conversation with women because man, talking about the talking about the issues to resolve and rectify the issues shows the character the as a man or as a woman. I don't care what nobody and what problem that goes on. If you man enough or woman enough to sit down and have a conversation, to me, you're not really an adult. You're a child. Because your mindset as an adult, you can't do the things you did. See, you got grown people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s doing the same thing they did when they were one years old, bro. Yeah. Yeah. How was how was that the issue? If you're doing if you in your 40s, 50s, and 60s making the same moves that you made when you was in your 20s, there's something mentally wrong. So, B, what's your take on about the two short chicken? Man, it's such a broad. Well, yeah, so, I pick it, yeah, I pick it back off what you just said, where right. I talk about the community and how the community is done. Because not only you know you look you look at the younger people. And, you know, the direction they're going, how things are going, you know, we're not in a good state right now, but you can easily see what the source is and what the issue is. Look at the older people. I, right. I, I, I've never seen so many older people being influenced by the younger generation. It's amazing. I mean, you're supposed to be leading. You got women like men and women, 40s, 50s, immature, can't talk to them. We can't sit down and have a real conversation about stuff right. to get right. things done. I mean, it's just what it is. But like you said, life is too short. So when you do come across people like that, it's like, OK, I see what this is. I got I got I, I, I got to move on. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Family. I love you. My people. All of that. I got to move on because I'm not getting anything done here. And it's 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 obvious. Now, some people might say, well, you know, you shouldn't give up. Blah, blah, blah. French toast that life is too short. <laughs> like you just said. I got a life to live. I got stuff to accomplish, dog. I can't sit here and debate with you about something that, that you should already know. Something that you live through. Things that I didn't even live through. And I see it. It's things that I didn't even live through, Sean. And I'm like, okay, I see exactly why this is where it is. But somebody right. who is actually there still can't see it, man. I, I can't debate with those people. Yeah, and it's it and, and, and it is such um man, it, it it's it's so sad to see. It's so sad to see. It's it's like you, you're like, come on, man. How many times we gotta? How many times we gotta talk about this? Yeah. I mean, how many times we gotta talk about that? And then you, they get frustrated because you're not. I'm like, hold on, man. We're talking. I'm, how many times? You, but you keep bringing the same issue, and I'm telling you what it is. But you, you're not being mature enough to actually see my side. You're doing with. And here's the thing: when you, when they just only want you to see their side, and they ain't trying to see your side. 
I don't care what nobody says. That there's a lack of closed mindedness and maturity. You got to have mental maturity to come to a, a, a to, to come to a common ground to have some sort of resolve, no matter what it is. And life is way too short. We 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 create mountains over mold hills, man, mold hills, man. And we can easily fix this thing. But you 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 want to you people want Brandon. People choose to be every day. Life is a choice. You can choose to be mad. You can choose to be um, uh, uh, ungrateful. You can choose to be bitter, yep. resentful, hold a grudge, be unforgiving. That's a choice. It's a choice. Your life, where it is, September 19, 2022, it's a choice. You choose to do and be and talk and act the way you do on a daily basis every day. It's consciously. No, it's not a surprise. You choose that. You doing that up. You do that on purpose. Yes, you do. You do. Yeah, they, people do it on purpose, man. That, and I, I think, I think, well, I think my mom was the initial one talking to me about. It, but I've heard many people talk about it. How as soon as your feet hit the floor, you decide how that day is going to go. You decide oh, how you're going to react to things. And once I figured that out, in any situation, I'm like, you know, I don't have to. I don't have to deal with that. That's like um, boondocks. You know, it's funny real quick. So boondocks. They got the um, episodes about uh, the ninja moment. And so they, they talk about how it affects black people versus how it affects white people. So with the black dude, they bump shoulders. Man, what, what you say? What you say? They pull out guns. They ready to shoot each other up. But then they say, now let's out, see how it affects a white person. He bumped the white dude's shoulder and he was like, watch where you walking. He was like, what did you say? He was like, yeah, what's up? He's like, hold on. I'm white. I don't have to deal with this. And he walked away. And I said, dude, that's powerful right now. Dude, I, we can do that. That is pretty thing. powerful. That Dude, pretty throw up my shoulders, step on my pumas, smudge my Jordans. Hey man, it is what it is. I'm moving on and I'm out the door. I don't have I do not have to participate in that. And that, that's that's the other part. You don't have to participate in any of these arguments, disagreements, or anything like that. You can easily walk away. Easily. Easily, man. And and B, you said some people people may be like, uh, you know, you need to be the bigger person, man. Life is too short to be the bigger person, man. If that's what they choose to do, you can't make them see that. You've already said, listen, can we talk about this? Can we can, can we figure this out? If they choose to still have that same attitude, that's on them at the end of the day. Now, whatever happens after that, you can't even blame that person. That's on you. You made the choice. Yep. You made you made the choice. That's how, that's like somebody divorcing somebody or breaking up with somebody and they see them out with somebody else like hold on you dumped me yeah what you whining about what you even why you why you even bringing that up I'm yeah. not, how what i look like getting mad over some woman i just threw away like they was alabama trash she going on to be with somebody else and somebody else is giving her attention i really don't know the dynamics of the situation but i'm mad i'm gonna have a whole attitude with them you need to have an attitude with your damn self because you don't want y'all in that situation because you chose to give up on it. That's yeah. the thing. That's the huge problem. My mom said, hey, Sean, I wouldn't deal with no man or no woman who can't even take responsibility and accountability of their own shit. How I'm going to rob the bank and I'm going to be mad at Brandon because I robbed the damn bank. What sense does that make? Brandon wasn't yeah. even there. Yeah. I robbed the bank. Am I going to? I'm so I'm bad at Brandon. And I robbed the damn bank. Yep. And then you got dumb people supporting these people. I'm like, you, uh-uh. I don't care how much I love you as a friend, how much if I love, love you as a family member. I ain't condoning your BS, man. When yep. you're wrong, because you didn't tell me I was wrong, and I just sit up there, hold on, bro. You threw that chick away like she was nothing. And you mad because you see her with somebody else? If you was a real man, you would have saw it with somebody else and be like, listen, you didn't like what you saw. You realize, like, you know what? I need to get my chick back. Because mm -hmm. my reaction shouldn't have been nothing if I was over the situation. So I'm going to have this reaction and still let her. The chances are you got a bigger chance of getting them back because that shit knew. Yeah. They got more history with you. 
So you got a chance and you just gonna sit there. People so stubborn, man. They so hard headed that they will sit there and watch a good thing go. Man, let me tell you something. In 2022, I'm gonna tell you something. If y'all dummies ain't got it now, nah, people don't give a damn about you, man. We are living in the days where people are lovers of themselves. This the book of revelations. If y'all can't see it now, if you can't see that this B, if they can't see that this is the modern day revelation that they living in, these fools stupid. If you can't see that people are lovers of themselves. You can't yeah. see that. You can't see that people selfish, man. You ain't trying to see it and you ain't trying to get better and you ain't trying to do better in your life because you refuse to open your eyes. You're going to keep blinders on what is the reality of what's right in front of you. Life is too short for the nonsense, man. Yep. I mean, I could be gone today, man. I want I'm I'm I I want to laugh every day even if I'm not feeling uh, 100% happy on the inside. I want to laugh any day. I want to be around positive people, man. I want to be around people who are not going to enable me and my BS that's going to call me out so I can get better as a man, as a father, as a husband, as a as a, as a, as a boyfriend, whatever. I want to get better. But why would I want to be around people, man, who ain't going to check me on my on my mess? What? Life is too short for that, B. Yeah. Life is yeah. short, man. Life is too short. And, and man, you can't let people um guilt you and shame you into things especially now like you say today people's are lover lovers of themselves man so yeah they are a lot of a lot of them they get especially ones with experience okay this person lacks experience they're young they don't know okay you right. kind of get it for a little bit you give them a little grace period or whatever but if these are grown people no it's certain that you just can't let stuff slide because when you let stuff slide today I mean, it probably was like this in the past, but if you let stuff slide today, it's not going to get better. It's never going to get better. It's only right. going to get worse because human nature says, well, I got away with this. I'm going to push the envelope to see if I can get away with this. That's human nature. Mm. Mm. That's true, man. And then, man, life is also too short, man. Life is also too short for... <laughs> Man, look at him, man. Life is too short, man. Hey, this is like we said earlier, man. So I'm not going to sit here and waste time. Somebody's not going to try to make things better, man. Yeah. Man, I, life is too short to deal with people. How they handle what problem situation is, they just, they just, they just give up. We can't talk. We can't have a conversation. Listen, man, if we can have an adult conversation, you ain't nothing but a child to me. You a, you a kid. Because you can't even communicate. Yep. That's one of the times. How, you expect that? How can you expect anything? That's in the workplace, family members, friends, relationships, man. If you have no communication skills, man, you're done. You're yeah. Done. yeah. That's how you rectify things. So you 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 know a lot of people. You remember Dave Chappelle when keeping it real goes wrong. Y'all keep it real at the wrong times, man. Yeah. You gonna keep it. You gonna keep it real. or gonna be asked out, and you ain't gonna have no job. You are gonna be struggling. You are gonna yeah. go on them people job like you the CEO. Uh 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 uh, uh CFO. I mean like you 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 own things. You gonna tell them what you not gonna do. Then you are gonna be asked out on a job. Now you ain't on that job. Now you flip a burger somewhere. Now yeah. you make it like a, you you a shell of your former self and when it comes to income because you chose to show your ass on those people's job you act like you you 40 50 60 something you act like you 21 that you got all you got all the time in the world and you got a good person and you too old to not be you too old not to be to be given up so quickly when a problem occurs how about talk can you talk about the problem life is too short for these dumb people to expect men to read men's mind and women to read men's mind and to be mad at them and not tell them what you mad about. Who does that? B, people do that all the time. You mad at me about something, but you ain't even telling me what you mad about. So we can talk about it to make it better. Yeah. I see why your track record is trash with people. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes the come up and sometimes the breakthrough is when you acknowledge what you do. Yeah. That's how you get better, people. Yeah. 
But if you if I, if, I, if Sean never acknowledges the mess ups that Sean does, and I tell y'all all my BS, why? Because I don't know half of y'all. And secondly, I don't give a damn what you think of me. I'm the one that's free. You the one that's you you look at the chains on your ankles every day and refuse to do something about it. Me, I own mine. That's the difference between me and you. That's why I'm going to keep catapulting higher and you still going to be stagnant. You know why? Because you don't even acknowledge the chains on your ankles. I seen the chains on my ankles, broke three, broke, broke them free, free like I was Samson and kept it moving. But I acknowledge my BS. If you yeah. want true growth and freedom, you got to acknowledge how effed up you really are and the things that you have done. Quit walking around here acting like trying to act like these people. Stop trying to play the victim. That's play, man. No, no, the only people buying into your victim role is stupid people. Yeah, sure. And, and realize what economic time we're in now. We, I mean, we're it's it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse before it gets better. So and, when the economy tanks, desperation goes up, survival instinct go up. So what does that mean? Everybody's looking out for number one. Exactly. That's human nature. So right. that's what you need to do. I don't I, mm -mm, ice in your veins, baby. Get get ice in your veins. You gotta get cold. Sorry. Hey, sorry, it is what it is. But hey, I can't let you sink me. No. I can't. can't do it. I'm man. trying to stay afloat. I can't, can't let you sink me. I tried to help you, try to be a friend, try to be nice to you, try to be and let, let me tell you something. That means, that means shit ain't working with no real things, man. Y'all need to stop that, man. I mean, you can be mean or mad all yourself. You can be mean and mad all by your damn self. You know, nobody ain't about that. You are the one that's looking crazy. And people are talking about and laughing behind your back. And you don't even And they the same people in your camp. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I know. And I'm telling you what I've heard. And I'm telling you what has come back to me. I'm telling you, they laughing at you. They're making a fool out of you. Because you refuse to see everybody's growing, everybody's building, everybody's got a foundation, and you have nothing because of your whole damn attitude. Your attitude is garbage. And you're not realizing you're going to waste all this time. Your dud ass can die tomorrow. But you didn't put, it takes too much energy to be negative, mad, angry, bitter, unforgiven, uh, grudge. It, man, you know how much energy that takes, man? You working yep. double time and overtime. You ain't got to work that hard to be happy, man. You ain't got to work that hard to, be, to smile, man. You ain't got to work that hard to be positive. You ain't got to work that hard. You ain't got to work that hard to, to communicate and to rec resolve issues, man, so you don't lose your good thing. Y'all don't care, man. And, 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 and y'all really think. Yeah, you know, there, there's, two, there's, two types of, there's two types of people out here, man. You got the real women. Then you got the hoes that's on Phillips Highway. <laughs> and you got the use. You in one of those three, you in one of those categories. You either opening up your legs so you can let a, let a man conquer you, and the world ain't going to see you like they see men. You a hoe. I don't care what you say. You always going to be, you're going to be tired of the hoe. You're going to go to bed a hoe. You're waking up a hoe. You a hoe. You, you wearing a hoe's robe. You can't do what all these men do, and and it's accepted. I'm sorry, it's not gonna be dudes gonna be like you can't make no hold no housewife. No, nah, she'd have been around everybody. She'd have had every dude in Jacksonville. Come on, man, make the bullshit make sense. Yeah. Life is too short. Life is too short not to grow up. Life is too short to be like you know what, man. I can't keep harping on this old mess. It ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Life is too short not to work on you. Life is too short not to build you better. Yep. Life is too short, man. I ain't going to have the best thing I've ever had in my life and let it slip out of my hand like I'm just going to find it tomorrow. Good things, people. I'm telling you, good people, good hearts, good things aren't replaceable, people. Not in 2022. Maybe in 1982. But in 2022, we're in a whole different era. B, yep. you can admit 20, 15 years ago, it was different. Oh, yeah. It was before uh social media before instagram before man. before that before dating apps man it was totally different shoot totally. and then just like man. the ladies hate that double standard because men men get to do whatever and they, they was like well you, they don't call y'all hoes well yeah that's just what it is but 
in order for me to be a man that you want, I got to provide some type of value. I can't just show up with two feet. I, I can't do that. I can't just show up and then get cash and prizes. No, I have to have some type of value and I have to maintain that value. That's just what it is. And it's work. It's work. It's every day. Every day, man. You got to get comfortable with the mundane, baby. It's every single day. Every single day. Life is short BS, man. Life is too short not to be taking responsibility and accountability. Life is too short, man. I have lost too many people, man. I'm not going to listen. Listen. I'm going to love those. I'm going to be there for those who be there for me. I'm going to friend those friends to me. I'm going to hold 10 toes down that hold me 10 toes down. You make a minute, you make an enemy out of me. Hey, we can do this however you want to be. You don't want me as your enemy. You you really don't. I'm not the one you want to be. Because if I'm a team, you got you got somebody real on your team. You know, I'm like, you can think whatever you want to say. Man, life is too short, and you think you got all the time. Y'all need to start living your life every single day and quit wasting so much time on the opposite of that. That's just yeah, you know? but B, we're gonna have to do a part. I got two people coming, bro. B, what's your final thought, man? Sure. Final thought on this is like you say, life is too short, man. It's what no matter what it is, whatever it is, whatever plan you have, whatever you want to do, moves you want to make, and let's say you have a plan or you know what you want to do, but you know, it's you fearful. Fear was the main thing that held me back. Or you you lazy, you gotten stagnant, you gotten comfortable where you are and you don't want to move out of that space. Dude, now is the time. I'm telling you, we talk about it all the time. I say, I know I sound like a broken record, but now is the time because in a, it, what it's going to be is going to be the poor and it's going to be the rich. There's going to be no middle class. That's just what it's going to be. It's going to be working class people who got to go to work every day and it's going to be the elites. That's what it's going to be. So you got to decide what you want to do right now, because in a little bit, options are going to be limited, man. I'm just telling you. Right. Right, man. Life. Hey, and, and they don't see it, man. And then, like I said again, man, when these economic times and they are going to get bad. You want reliable, dependable people on your team. Yes. And if you think this, man, I'm like, listen, man. You got to understand, man, life is too short. Life is too short to pretend to be something that you're not to keep somebody that you got. Opposed to just being truly who you are and being accepted in your butt naked truth where you ain't got to pretend or walk on eggshells or whatever. Be who you need to be an unapologetic, unapologetically, man. And if somebody accepts you for that, don't be dumb and, and realize that it's hard finding just friends to accept you for who you truly are. Life is way too short. Stop selling yourself short and get outside your own head, man, and get out of your own way. That is my final thought. B, tell the people how you can find them, man, how they can find you. Brandon Lampley on all social medias is YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. Brandon Lampley just put me in. Yes, yes, man. Listen, me and man, we got more time. We're going to come back to this. We're going to do a part two of this. Our next podcast will be on Brandon's. Is that Wednesday, Brandon? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday at 11. All right. We know what the title going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a good one. So uh, check us out. We're going to be on Brandon's show Wednesday at 11. Listen, good people, great special going on. Buy 50 sessions, get 25 sessions for free. Those 50 sessions you buy are non-transferable. The other 25, you can do whatever you want to do with them. You can pad your pocket, put them on for the back end for yourself. But great special going on right now. But like I said, at the end of every segment, I'll start judging people once I'm perfect too. But since this brother is no way, shape, form, or fashion perfect, you'll never have to worry about me ever judging you. Listen, B, man, be safe out there, man. I'll see you on Wednesday. Be safe out there, everybody. Love is love. We'll catch you on the flip. Peace. Yeah.